Yeah. Hey, we're Bugs, and uh, you're going to be watching us on Desert TV, and we're really excited to be playing here at Moe's. So crack a beer, sit down on the couch, and get ready for a ripper. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Couldn't stand up, so I just lie down. Never got that far. What is beating? I made a phone, but at least it fits in the car. Features. Well, I just want to keep ya. 
you know I want to keep you coming back Talking to my best friend Tell her I'm in love again Well, I just want to keep ya You know I want to keep you coming Hey, it's Kim and we're on Desert TV and I am here with the band Bugs in the studio. Welcome, guys. Thank G'day. you. Thanks for having us. Thanks for coming. Cheers first. Oh, cheers first. Cheers. Up off the ranks. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Dirty bird. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not bad. It's not bad, hey? Yeah. It's pretty good. We've got uh, Connor and Jordan here and over in the corner over here, uh, not on camera, we've got a double parked Brock uh, watching and laughing at us as we uh, have a chat today. (laughs) Classic Brock, he's just like that, isn't he? Uh, Guys, thank you so much for coming in today. We've been really excited to have you here and have you perform live at Moe's on Desert TV as well. Uh, How's this uh, last 12 months been for Bugs? I feel like you've come from somewhere and you're just climbing and climbing and climbing. What have you guys been up to? Uh, it's been pretty surreal. Like, yeah, I guess we did like like a version at the start of last year. And since then, I mean, it was kind of weird timing because we did that and that's maybe the biggest, biggest thing that we've done in our career or whatever, being a band. And then all of a sudden pandemic hit and everyone was in the same boat of like, oh shit, like what do we do kind of thing? Like, so it was, yeah, it was really cool and weird to see like almost that we were really lucky to get in and do it just before everything like shut down because I think we were actually the second last band to do it before they completely stopped doing it for like almost six months or something. So then, yeah, I guess we were really lucky that we had that and that's such a kind of like, I mean, it's on the internet and it's like promoted via things that aren't really affected by the whole pandemic thing. So I guess that. Trashy pop punk drinking this and there are some stains on the floor. I don't know who broke the couch back in autumn. The possum comes out of four, and someone's always around now. The board man, now they challenge you to a game. Your gut is spinning, but you're never gonna complain. Cause tonight we're. Spinning, but you're never gonna complain. 
Crazy, like. What was the? What was the? Um, who was the most strangest person to get in contact with you? Who's been your most like oh. out of the blue fan that you've <laughs> yeah. gone? Wow, we! I can't believe. Uh, yeah, who's that been? Oh, I don't know. We've had some pretty. I've had some personally very interesting <laughs> experiences. <laughs> Me too. I actually had my uncle who, uh, he's from Adelaide, and I, <laughs> it's on my dad's side of the family, and you know I haven't seen him for like ten, maybe even fifteen years. So, and like, then, well over half your life. Yeah, a yeah, long, long yeah. time. And then he just hit me up one day. And he's like, hey, um, yeah, listen to your music. Bloody great. Like, so <laughs> stoked. And I just, like, barely knew who he was. But it was awesome. Like, he yeah. somehow found it. and Super heard, proud heard uncle. About it. Yeah. Good on him. Oh, it was just lovely. Like, super, super nice. And so he keeps people out of the blue. school with as well, I noticed. Like, yeah. all yeah. of a sudden, a lot of people that I used uh, to go to school with that I hadn't even spoken. Talk to people, years, people that bullied us in high school. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking, <laughs> speaking of. <laughs>
this. Let's have a bit of fun. This one goes out to everyone watching on the live stream. Hell yeah.
right words to say Desperately reassure each other It'll all be okay Hey, hey <laughs> Speaking of high school, where did you guys start? Where did Bugs um, begin? And, and why Bugs? Ah, uh, that's a weird, good question. That's a great question. Yeah. Um, I, I grew up on the sunny coast, like up, up, up the other end, so pretty much just yeah, the Gold Coast, except little little baby version. And like, um, yeah, eventually moved to Brizzy, and I was played in a band on the sunny coast for a few years, and we just kind of kicked around, and yeah, I did like we did a few little festivals and stuff, and we're doing okay, but. Eventually, I just wanted to move to Brisbane because there was like a bit more of a draw card of more venues, more like gigs, more opportunity kind of thing, and like yeah, more people to potentially write with and diverse writing pools. So I was just like, yeah, cool. It's packed up and went down to Brisbane, and I think Brock was offering free recording at his um like home studio, which was this tiny <laughs> little like sweat box in Taringa behind the toilet store. Yeah, yeah. Like, it was like the ridiculous. Uh, must have been so cheap that place. <laughs> it's just like I love that they're paying you out and you have no ability to <laughs> defend yourself. There's yeah. no microphone or camera in front of poor old Brock <laughs> over like, here. Yeah, it's just it's the ideal scenario. This is going to be every interview format from here on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so, did you guys meet there, or were you yeah. already friends on that front? Well, like I, it was weird. I'd, I'd known Brock because he. Like I'd recorded with his old um, front man for one band that he'd played in, in like Byron Bay years ago. And then, yeah, I just had him on Facebook and he offered free recording. So I was like, cool, I'll go record I mean. this EP with him. And he played drums better than the, the program drums that I'd done. And he was like, oh, this is cool. And I think Hockey Dad asked us to play with him like a, f a few weeks after we put the kind of stuff out. And then I was like, oh, we have to be a band and stuff. And then we did like temp bassists for a while, kind of just getting friends to fill gaps mm -hmm. and stuff. But then eventually it started getting a bit more like serious and stuff. Mm -hmm. And we're like, okay, we need to commit to someone. And Brock knew Jordan from like recording one of his other bands and just all met. And it was just like no brainer kind of thing where it was just so. The rest is history. So yeah. easy from day to day. Love at first sight. Yeah. No, it's it's just great. Good, good dynamic. We don't really like, I mean, we fight, but when we fight, it's usually over something that's pretty worth it kind of thing. And, uh, <laughs> even it's, then. It's funny. I remember the first time we jammed, like, 
I was like super prepared and very nervous, practiced the songs, came to the rehearsal and he's like, oh, let's go through some songs, sweet. So whipped him out, played all the right notes, like, you know, like anyone would who wants to be in the band. Yeah. And Connor and Brock were just so stoked that I knew the songs. Like, they were so <laughs> surprised. Like, obviously, it had some pretty uh, rank experiences before yeah. that. Oh, yeah. It's like, you know, when you have friends playing, they're only just in, like, yeah, put as much care in as they absolutely need to to not, like, embarrass themselves, basically. But yeah. when you're a band, you're all invested in the same thing, and it's a bit more of a commitment kind of thing. So I guess that's when, you know, you start taking it seriously and... Oh. Not too seriously. That's the I, one thing we're always really about is making sure you're having fun and like that's the main ethos of our band. It always has been like, yeah, we, it defeats the purpose if you're not fundamentally like enjoying what you're doing. With, yeah, and you can.
think that you're right Staying up late at night She discover an old youth feeling In the back of the car See a place from the start She discover an old youth feeling Speaking of fun, uh, tonight's set has been awesome so far and uh, looking forward to the rest of it. But can you guys tell me a little bit about you You didn't do anything much in 2020 in order to uh, make sure that when you brought out some new music, you had the ability to uh, really pump it and have some fun on stage. Tell me about what's uh, coming up for you guys and the new music that Bugs is bringing out. There should be an album coming out this year. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. We've narrowed it down to a bunch of singles and... Uh, yeah, this one's going to be real playful, poppy, awesome, mm -hmm. fun. Mm -hmm. um, big guitars. Big guitars. <laughs> Lots of harmonies. Beautiful. It's nice. You guys, <laughs> have, over the last year as well, the other guys have learned how to like sing gradually. I mean, they could always sing, but now they've grown confidence to sing. So we kind of do like three-part barbershop quartet harmonies and stuff. Epic. Yeah. yeah. It's really nice. Like it's, it sounds probably really weird of me, but it's like no more satisfying feeling than like singing in harmony with <laughs> two other people. It's like... Oh, oh yeah I get so I like tingles over all on my body it's like so such a weird like what was that face again oh yeah <laughs> so this weird yeah like organic like experience it's just so satisfying it's or, a orgasmic yeah, orgasmic. Yeah, it's yeah. An orgasmic it's an organic orgasmic experience. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm comparing it. There we go. Like a sneeze, one eighth of an orgasm, yeah, kind like, of. Like a, like five sneezes. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. so like five half, out of eight. Halfway. I really, really like it. Awesome. And you know how much more I'm going to enjoy uh, listening to your harmonies now. I know this about you. I'm yeah. just going to be watching your face. I had just, like, an just... ex one time tell me that like the guitar face that I make, like yeah. when I'm really focusing on guitars, like the same face I make when I'm having sex, like and focusing. I've heard that a lot. That's like, a general about... rule. And I was like, yeah. Dah, you didn't know that? This yeah. is so weird. Anytime I look at like photos of myself after gigs and stuff, I'm like, fuck, I'd hate to have sex with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel when your mum comes to a gig? Oh, <laughs> I hadn't thought about that, but now, yeah. fuck, next week I'll probably just be like mortified now. Oh. Right. She came out, you came out of her, man. Don't worry about it. Yeah, that. it's fine. She's, she's seen me at my worst. Yeah. It's all right. And also at your finest on stage, clearly. I guess so. it's kind of like when you're watching a movie growing up with your parents and then a sex scene comes on and you're just like, yeah. oh, squirming. It's yeah. so weird. Like, I don't know. Mum's pretty cool. She doesn't think, really, yeah. You can say hi to her. Yeah. Most she's... people say hi to their mum when they're on Desert TV if you want to say hi to oh, her. Hi, mum, if you're watching. There we go. Hi, Connor's mum. <laughs> hey, Judy. I'll... Yeah. All right. Thanks so yeah, much, future. guys, for coming in the studio with me tonight. No, thanks Really for appreciate us. you guys coming to the Gold Coast and playing on Desert TV. Uh, we're really excited to have you here and can't wait to see what you guys bring in the next 12 months. It's been a big one, but uh, this next 12 months is going to be even bigger. Thank, thank you so, you so much. Awesome. No, thanks thank so you. much for having us. We're so excited. Yeah. One more little cheers for the dirty yeah, burp. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Bridge. Bottoms up. Oh, Finish man. those up. Beautiful. It's Kim and you're on Desert TV and I'm here with Bugs in the studio. This has been such a sick night. Everyone take care of each other, have heaps of fun. Thanks for having us. safe with them
I'm not just blowing smoke up your ass. This is the best Gold Coast show we've ever had. So thank you guys so much. We really appreciate it. You guys are unreal. If you know any of this song, please sing along with us. Just might love you forever. I hope you warm up to me. Think you might be my angel. I think you might be my angel. I think you might be. All I want to do is see you when I get home, like Charlie in the rain outside. All I want to do is see you when I get home, like Charlie in the rain outside. All I got to do. so much you've been amazing okay. ready hey, hey we're, we're bugs, bugs and you're, you're watching, watching desert, desert TV, TV. boom Woo!